after they enter, we burst up on the count of four, not five, not three, four. Totally five is way too long. Are you sure this is a good idea? How could surprising Riley with a cake and loud noises possibly be a bad idea? I don't know, some people don't like to be caught off guard or birthday stuff or both. I guarantee they're going to love it. Thanks, everybody. See, I told you they'd love it. <laughs> yep. I love it. So after reading these books, I think being royalty is more overrated than it's made out to be. I mean, yeah, you're super rich, but you also might get murdered in a succession plot. Yeah, but that's a small price to pay for having servants. So you'd risk your life to have a butler? Honestly, I would totally take being constantly paranoid in order to have someone serve me Earl Grey tea day or night. <laughs> what can I say? The British in me loves English tea. And don't forget to accent your pinky. In all seriousness, would you give up your life as it is now in order to become royalty? For me, it's a tough question, but the answer would be a resounding yes! Oh, I love the possibility of marrying a prince and riding a horse off into a dew-covered meadow. Is that what royalty does? It's what I like to believe they do. I'd be a member of the rebellion fighting for our people, and overthrowing the corrupt aristocrats that leech off the kingdom. Yeah, you'd never catch me being a, a member of the royal family. The whole thing creeps me out. Right? I mean, just sitting on a throne with a gold crown while there are literal peasants serving you? Well, I was more referring to all the creepy things that can kill you, you know, because I've seen all 72 episodes of Game of Thrones, and there are just so many terrifying ways that you can die. I'm talking about hangings, beheadings, white walkers. And it seems like pure terror 24 7. Think about it. White walkers. I'm pretty sure Marcus understands the difference between fiction and nonfiction, but sometimes you have to wonder. I'd agree with Riley. I'm totally against the idea of hereditary monarchy, and that's why I'd want to become king through deceit and villainy. That way, I can go to sleep comfortably knowing that I backstabbed my way to the top. <laughs> Gabriel likes to pretend he's ruthless, but no one with a smile like that could ever be mean. Like, ever. So you're saying you'd be a tyrannical overlord? No, I'd be a celebrated tyrannical overlord. When you're a member of royalty, people fawn over you wherever you go. Grown adults constantly throw confetti in your presence. Yeah, but they aren't really praising you. They're doing it because they have to. And that's exactly what a birthday is. And who doesn't enjoy birthdays? Me. I don't like birthdays. I knew I was right. They don't want no birthday cake. I know Riley. I guess we didn't really think about how you might feel about birthdays. So we might be in the wrong for doing this. I'm sorry. I'm not. Again, I knew it was a bad idea. I shouldn't have freaked out on you guys. Truthfully, I know you were just trying to think of me, and I guess I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, group hug? No, but no. OK, I respect that. Okay. For the next season, I'm going to try a preppy, fresher, like, happy look. I got my nice suit and tie. Your boy's looking fresh. I'm gonna try an emo, edgier look. Hey, everyone. When it comes to book club problems, let's just say there's more on the way.